All right, hello world, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to keep implementing the movie app. All right, the movie app. So uh, I have the API put up here, and if you take a look results, this is what we have for now. So we're going to keep adding information for TV. All right, this is a TV show where I'm going to basically do the same thing to a movie as well. So let's take a look. So now we have all the networks in, right? Uh, we can also have all the genres. Which I think this should pretty much do the trick. Genres, reality, yeah. Uh, maybe I want to do an unordered list. And then for every time, do a list item. Genres, we have reality, you know, stuff like that. Um, HR, so it can create you know, different sections. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Um, hmm. Let's see. Seasons, spoken language. Vote average. So we want to implement our own voting system as well. Um, yeah. Why don't we do language? Let's take a look at languages. Right, so I think it's the same thing. On order list. Um, let's refresh our screen, E-N, right, that's English, um, Yeah, let's do, I don't know, last episode, probably. Yeah, last episode, last episode. To today. So in here, we will do an ordered list, or I do a list item. Um, uh, so in here, uh, we can probably say, no, let's not do a, Yeah, let's just do a, oh no, paragraph. Uh, so data dot last episode to air dot last air day, I think. So if we refresh the page, air date. All right, so that means it's incorrect. Uh, let's take a look. No, it didn't process that at Okay, so it's data dot last episode to air. Oh, dot air date. Not last air day. Let's refresh the page. Good. Ooh. I don't know. They actually have a season. It's 2021. I saw it's ended in 2011 or something. All right. Um, let's 
Okay, we could give a name. I have episode number. Yes, it does. Uh, dot name. All right, I'm going to shoot it out. Let's do an overview. Overview. Right. Okay. So that's that. Hell's Kitchen, why don't we create a track here? Ah, create, we're gonna do a track right here. All right, perfect. So yeah, that's basically some general information just gonna display to the, um, I don't know, to the, you know, to the player, or not, not to the player, uh, to the user, right, to the user. Um, so I'm thinking if there is a way for us to really just, you know, how should I say this, just render everything out where they can search for all the details, like, pro like a link to a Wikipedia page or something, I don't even know. Um, so, I mean, I'm thinking if we can do a link to a Wikipedia page, but then uh, we have to pick the best search. Sometimes it might not necessarily be the best search. So think, keep this information. That's, I think that's all really a um, person need to know right away for a TV show. I'm hoping if there is, I don't know. If there's like a let's take a look at tagline. I wonder what's tagline. It's no angel. Oh, okay. So I feel like we can graze this out um, and italicize it. So this is what I mean. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to use a H4 probably. Um, data. So we can say style color is gray. And then we can also italics I want to italics I see see if that's how I want it yep that's exactly how I want it he's no angel all right good 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 um all right so that's for TV show uh, now let's work on movie right information for movie and then we're gonna add a rating place where they can you know submit their own rating and then we can probably even start to I don't know even recommend we can even be a recommend system or something anyway so in this TV uh, let's go oh okay not one all right so let's go to movie and um, let's make a search I don't know I don't really watch movie I know there's a new spider-man movie not sponsored but you know, I just searched Spider-Man. Um, I believe that should be called No Way Home. That should be probably the new Spider-Man movie. Wait. Huh. It doesn't have any titles for some reason. Well, let's take a look. Why doesn't it have any titles? 
It's supposed to have a title right away or name. Yeah. Um. Let's take a look. Let's go to movies. We can probably add more things to TV, honestly. We'll figure that out. Um, movies. Here. Um, okay. So, do you have a name? Your is a title. Oof. Alright, well how to do this. Um not m dot name. Let's do m dot title. That's it. Let's refresh the page. See if we get anything. Good. So now you can see we see it out. Basically, this is just saying if m dot name is none or something, um, or undefined, then let's use m dot name instead. Um, great. So I think we're gonna change. Uh, go somewhere to view detail. View details. All right. Let's refresh the page. View details. All right. So let's click on it. And right now it's undefined. So now let's implement one for movie detail. Because it has some different information, so we need to create two different templates. However, they are really the same. Uh, no. Not really the same, but they have some similarity, which we can borrow from each other. All right. Um, first is data the title right and um, let's go to views is that pie I'm gonna copy you and I'm gonna view movie detail movie ID movie ID the movie or movies uh, movie okay movie uh, movie detail. All right, sweet. Uh, URLs. Good. Um, let's refresh our page. All right, get a what unexpected keyword argument movie ID. And I wonder. Oh, shoot! Forgot to change this to movie. There we go. Let's refresh the page. All right, great. So now you can see we have some general information works here. Uh, Spiral number words, the multiverse unleashed. All right, let's take a look. What are some movie information that people might care about? Uh, genres, of course. Production companies, production country. We probably want to say release date, revenue, and runtime. And then we can say some general information. Yeah, so we can say some like general information. Let's go to movie detail. Um, all right. So in here, we will delete the languages because not disappear appearing anything. Last episode as of today. Um, general information. All right. 
So in here we can write release date. Uh, data dot release date right. first the page to make sure everything works all right perfect release date December 15th well that's early or not not early it's pretty recent uh, revenue Revenue, da 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 revenue. Let's see. I heard it's like a record breaker again, like as he expected. Let me take a look. Okay, don't like that, but clearly that's a lot of money. It's a billion. That's one billion is it revenue dollar. I don't know, it's revenue dollar, like, they don't tell you the unit, I'm gonna assume it's dollar. Um, alright, so here's what we're gonna search, I'm gonna search, see how can we display number more elegantly. Render number more elegantly, more readable in JavaScript. Yes, yeah, so something like that. Hmm. Data revenue. I'm thinking add a filter to this. What's that like? It's like a template filter Django. So it can basically call filter and format. Oh uh, yeah, te template tag and filters. All right. All right, create custom filter. Ooh, Jingo at 4.0? Oh, I should update it to 4.0. But let's create a custom figure that's a um, filter that's basically going to um, format revenue in a way that's it's readable. So let's create a templates tag, template tags. Template tags init.py. Um, I'm just gonna call it numbers. All right. So, and in your templates, okay, load the numbers. I'm hoping it's not a default stuff. All right. Let's see. Uh, you know what? We'll just load it right here. All right, little numbers. Uh, all right, copy this. This goes right here. All right.
Okay, so should be pretty easy. Um, what? I don't even know what this means. I'm I'm just gonna do a Python Python three shell. Uh, I'm um, do a Python three shell. Just take a look from that. Oh no. Okay, yeah, there's no point. Yeah, I think this makes more sense. This renders me what I wanted. I don't know how it works. It looks like it, it, I mean, it works, it works, you know. <laughs> Not gonna question if it works, it works. But I think it's because I'm built in syntax of how it works about F strain. Huh, I really wonder how the syntax works. And I'm, I'm thinking some built in syntax because there's no like commas for every three digit. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alrighty. Let's see. How do you use this again? Are uh, some variable? Okay. So it's a okay. It's this. <clears throat> Num format numbers. Okay, format number. Format numbers. Format number. Uh, I should call it format money, really. Not format number. And let's take a look. All right, as expected, we have this error. Numbers is not a register tag library. That means something went wrong. And let's take a look what went wrong. Um, all right, let's see. Let's make sure. Oh, okay. I think sometimes you need to restart the server to make him to let him know that I have this file now that I need to. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it works. And it works. Sweet. And I'm going to assume it's US dollar. Right? I'm going to assume it's US dollar. Um, all right. Good. We don't need a name. Right? We don't need name because that's ridiculous. We all know it's Spider Man. Right there. Let's take a look at anything else we want. Let's do a runtime. Let's just do a runtime. Overview. We could do overview. Ah, let's do overview. I don't know. So rather networks. Overview and be paragraph. It's data dot overview. Surprise, surprise. Refresh the page. Sweet. Peter Parker is a mask and no longer able to separate Doctor Strange. Okay. All right. Um, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's also do a runtime. I'm assuming it's minutes. I'm assuming it's plural minutes because it doesn't make sense for it to be less than one minute. 148 minutes makes sense. 
Um, all right, sweet, 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 sweet. That looks good. That looks great. Um, all right, so I think that's what we're gonna do in this video. In the next video, if we're gonna keep work on this project, we're gonna start adding voting system, so you can actually rate this movie. All right, rate this movie and rate rate the TV show, and even maybe add some comments to it. But um, yeah. That's it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you have any question or comment, feel free to comment down below. Um, Merry Christmas. And um, it's almost New Year, so wish to a great start of next year. I think this will be the last video for this year, which is 2021. So yeah, if you're watching from the future, um, you know, well, I mean, I guess happy year 2022 in, in really less than a week. But yeah, as always, stay safe and have a great rest of your day. That was me, out.